Hello again, fellow beer lovers, beer boss. Coming at you from historic downtown St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, actually, uh, Shannon, are we downtown St. Paul or are we in a particular district? It's a very good any question. Ideas? All right, well, in any event, you can see where yeah, things are, things are very, uh, very scenic here. Uh, we're actually in, uh, it's St. Paul Brewing, uh, formerly Flat Earth, but we're in the, in the, in the original Ham's Beer Brewery, um, Land of Sky Blue Waters, you may recall, from back in the day. So um, I'm pretty excited. Um, so I've got a good flight going here. I'll show you that real quick. Mmm, delicioso. So I'm going to try this first one. It's called uh, uh, Spiced. It's the Winter Porter Spiced Porter, 5.2%, and uh, very dark. See, it smells sweet, and it smells spicy, like something straight off of the spice rack. It smells delicious. Uh, I'm getting some, geez, I don't know, maybe a little prune juice. The mouthfeel is, is very, uh, it's kind of a watery mouthfeel. I really like the flavor. It's, a com it's complex. It's both, it's both uh, sweet but not too sweet. And then, uh, you know, with with the seasonings that, that and it's a, it's a pretty complex batch of seasonings. I'm trying to put my finger on it. Hey Shannon, you want to take a swig and let me know what what your what your you taste off of that? It's uh, it's very tasty. You can think about that for a second if you want to. Hey Shannon, what's the name of the uh, of the guy that uh, that runs the uh, the tap room there? I'll tell you what, he's he's such a nice guy. Uh, so I, I I told him I was gonna post this in just a few minutes so he can check it out while we're still here. Uh, so, well, I'll tell you what, I that that most beers that I have at brew pubs I would not. I would not uh, take a, a growler home, but, and that's kind of the test. If, if I would take a, a growler home, you know it's, it's a favorite. And I would, I would say that this, this uh, spiced porter, winter porter, that would be something that I would definitely take a, a growler home. It reminds me of gingerbread. Gingerbread, I like it. I, I, I definitely would agree. Some molasses, I had said uh, prune juice. Uh, but yeah, molasses and ginger, very good. And you know, the, the finish is really strong and really long. Uh, I'm still tasting it and I'm still liking it. So we're gonna try the next one, which is Spoon Thief Oatmeal Stout on Nitro. And uh, that's six and a half percent. Uh, it had a really excellent uh, thick head on it. As you as you would expect out of a out of a nitro. And you know the mouth feel is is uh, what you also what I would normally expect out of a uh, a nitro stout. It's uh, very uh, velvety and smooth and uh, and just very drinkable. Not strong or bitter uh, within the, within the style. Yeah, that would that'd be something that you'd, you'd want to uh, drink with. Uh, you know, if you're having a steak or if you're having uh, barbecued ribs or something like that. Really, really good. Really good. Yeah, I give I give that a definite thumbs up. So um, next, we're gonna try out the. This is the East 
Uh, it just says East on here. I can't remember the name of it. East. Uh, yeah, East Side. I guess we're on the East Side of St. Paul here. Um, east Side IPA, and that's that's 9.1 percent. So if you're uh, if you're dyed in the wool drinker, this is your beer. Oh, I'll tell you what the smell, the aroma on this is so good. Really, really nice citrusy, uh, you know, bouquet. Mouth feels a little bit syrupy, just lightly syrupy. Citrusy, but not overly so. And you know what I like about, about this is that even though it's 9.1%, it, uh, it's, it's not overwhelmingly um, alcohol. You know, the, the first thing that hits you isn't the smell or the taste or the alcohol. And uh, you will find that in a lot of the uh, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11% uh, alcohol by volume beers. Uh, they're that's that's the overwhelming note, but in this case, it's actually more more the the citrus and and not just the citrus, but other notes. And hey, you know what? They they've got a live band out here on their patio, and it's really cool. They're they're playing a lot of really nice um, oldies. They're playing. I, I was listening. They had stuff from the '60s, '70s. Now they're playing some Tom Petty from. Uh, or uh, wait, no, they're they're playing Neil Young right now. Good stuff. Okay, so now my last one in this in this uh, flight, it's called Space Pirate. It's five point five percent. It's a juicy IPA. Is that what you're drinking over there, Shannon? Here, here, raise your glass to me. Shannon is a little shy. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she's she knows her beers. Look at that, doesn't that make you want to drink some? Juicy IPA. Ooh, wow. First thing that hits me is, I don't know, like some kind of cereal. Like, um, wow. Mm. Wow, this is really interesting. Okay, but I'm going to take a growler of this home. This is good stuff. Shannon, you got any thoughts on the flavors off of that one? Wow, it's Super got a nice, a nice long finish. Any juicy I think is really bring me back to um, what is that? Oh, that so much. Wow, this is good. Fresh squeezed. Do, uh, to shoot, to shoot's fresh squeezed. That's one of my favorite IPAs. My uh, my fans out there will know. Um, but this this is quite a bit different from that. This this is more complex even. Uh, I mean, you know, the fresh squeezed IPA uh, is very hoppy. But even though this is hoppy, that's not the that's not the most prominent thing about it. The most prominent thing is this whatever I'm calling cereal. Um, cereal in a good way. I'm telling you, you got everybody should come on out and try some of this. Um, what do we call it? It's a it's Space Pirate. Space Pirate, juicy IPA, five and a half percent. Heather, you gotta go buy one. I had one. <laughs> I had a sample. Alright. Well, any, anyway, everybody, uh, I like to try to keep these short um, in the interest of, of your time. But I, I, I would recommend that everybody come on out and check out St. Paul Brewing Company here on the east side of St. Paul, Minnesota. Formerly Flat Earth Brewing, um, you may, if you're uh, trying to get out here using GPS, you might need to uh, to specify Flat Earth um, because they only recently changed the name. And uh, but hey, it's historic. You know, you come here, 
soak it up, enjoy the music. They got really good, authentic Mexican tacos and burritos and other Mexican food out here in the, in the food truck. And Oscar out there, he's a gentleman and a scholar and a really good cook. And, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, plus uh, they actually have a spiced beer here that would probably go really well with some of that food. I haven't tried that one yet. So anyway, until next time, cheers.